Hello, I'm Kristen from Kristen Kane Style. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today, as you can see, I'm going to do a little bit of closet editing um, in my own closet. This sort of in-season, mid-season edit is not designed to bring in things for the next season or to get you know rid of things specifically that I can still wear in this season. It is more to get me really clear on why I'm not wearing certain pieces and bring pieces that I do want to be utilizing kind of to the forefront. Things have just gotten a little too messy and I am not able to find things as easily as I'd like to be able to. This one I love. This is loft thrifted. I wear this often. Um, I just like how cozy it is. I like the stripe. As I said earlier, I like the alternating stripe that is a little bit um, varied where they're not all the exact same width. And so this one gets a lot of play. I'm going to keep that one out. I love that it is also kind of nautical vibe in its navy blueness and that I will wear it in the spring with a pair of light jeans and sneakers and it'll feel like spring. This, um, same thing, this is a good transition from colder weather to spring because it's bright and striped and has a nautical vibe to it, even though it's black and cream. And it's also really cozy. So this one I have been wearing, I do wear it. I will keep it in my closet. Okay, next, this stays on, one of my favorites. It is cotton, but I do wear it all year long, layered with something under it, either a t-shirt or a cami and um, it feels like spring with trousers or with jeans so this one can stay and as you can see i'm running out of room here this one i'm going to put in the spring bin because it's cotton this was thrifted while we were away and um i really like it but it's not warm enough in the winter it's, it's a really nice heavy cotton but i think it'll be great for the next part of the year where it's not quite warm enough for short sleeves or you know just a blouse but it you want to feel like it's spring and so the cotton will do that even though it'll still be kind of cozy so that'll go in the next season bin this one i recently thrifted um it is 27 miles which is a really uh, nice cashmere brand and i had been wanting a navy blue cashmere sweater i was not in any way thinking that i wanted one that had this much color or detail or oomph and yet when i put it on it's a little bit of a bell sleeve or a balloon sleeve rather and i just i really like how it looks and feels it's great with the navy trousers um, it's good with the gray trousers it's good with jeans so i'm just going to keep wearing this one until um, it gets it and it also has kind of a spring vibe with the pink and the orange and so um I'm going to keep wearing this one until it gets too warm for it. This is going to go in the spring um, bin also, also thrifted. Uh, it's, I've worn this through the winter a couple of times. It's just that the knit, even though it's dense, is not warm. And so I am going to keep it for spring when a cotton sweater will be more what I'm looking for. And then this is just a little date top. I don't, as you can tell, have many blouses that are um, dressier vibe. And um, so I'm gonna keep this one in my closet and have it for special occasion or something like that. This I've been wearing with either a sweater over it or by itself. It is thrifted flannel. So it's really soft from American Eagle. I would actually probably, I don't wear a lot of shirts. As you can tell, most of my wardrobe is knits because even though I actually like to iron, I don't want to have to iron because it's a barrier to a barrier to entry or a barrier to ease for me. If I have to iron it, it tends to end up in a laundry basket waiting for me to be ready to iron a bunch of things. And if it's a knit, I usually can just put it on and go. So this one, I have adopted sort of my daughter's attitude of it doesn't actually need to be ironed, just put it on and wear it rumpled. And I've been okay with it. I, I'm not sure I would like leave the house and go anywhere important in it, um, partially because it's just more casual, but I, at home I'm enjoying just wearing it. So that one's gonna stay out because certainly the pink and the white feels like it could translate very easily into spring. Okay, now we're to the things that are um, going into the spring bin and I'm gonna address the pile on the floor. Cashmere sweater. Uh, this I purchased at Anthro before I left and it is nice lightweight. I actually will still wear this into spring, so this one is going to stay. This one, it is um, acrylic. I really like the color, and when I put it on, it makes me smile, and I have something better. So I think I am going to get rid of this one because I don't think I'm gonna pull this one over the blue or the sweater I'll show you in a minute. 
This one I love and I wear often. It is almost too warm to wear inside because it's really thick and it is acrylic, so I can wear it easily. If, that's, if you haven't heard, I don't do wool because wool is itchy on me. It just doesn't, my skin doesn't like wool. I can do cashmere and I can definitely do acrylic. So this is Thrifted Old Navy. It is just cozy and soft and I can wear it. My office um, is downstairs in the basement of our home and it is chilly down there. And so I can wear it down there and be nice and warm. So that one is going to stay. This one I actually really love and it should be hung up. Um, it is a thrifted uh, cardigan from American Eagle that I got, I guess, a year ago or so. And I do wear this one often um, over top of a t-shirt or a thinner sweater with just cozy pants to work at home. So that one can stay. Okay, next. This, I love this one too. I do wear this one. This one is also great into the spring because of the color and you know the brightness of it, even though it is really cozy. This is one of those pieces that I get a lot of compliments on. It's just kind of a notable sweater. It's Old Navy from last year, and I actually really like this, and I'm glad I have it. Uh, this is a recently thrifted item. Um, this one is freshly washed. I have not tumbled this in the dryer or steamed it to get the wrinkles out. This is Old Navy cashmere. I have never in my life seen Old Navy cashmere before. Um, I spotted this on a thrifting trip uh, with Greta recently, and it's amazing. It's, it is just really amazing. So this one I'm looking forward to wearing. I just need to um, steam it or tumble it in the dryer so that it's not quite so wrinkly because I do like things to not look super wrinkly. Um, it's kind of a hang up of mine. Same thing with this one. This is recently thrifted cashmere. If you think you cannot find incredible cashmere thrifted or consigned or secondhand, um, I promise you that you can. The majority of the cashmere in my wardrobe is thrifted and occasionally I get a piece that has a little hole in it and then I just use some embroidery floss or some thread and I just cut from the back, kind of tack the hole so that it won't continue to make more holes and so I can wear it. And I'm not super precious about it. I don't mind the look of something that's been mended. And um, so I, I even if, usually the cashmere I purchase does not have holes, but if it does, I am totally fine. The sweater I have on had a couple different holes in the back and I have just stitched them um, with a little bit of embroidery floss. This is J. Crew cashmere. Again, I'm trying to bring a little more camel in because as long as I have some color in my face and maybe some fun jewelry, gold jewelry or something, and a little bit of lip color or gloss, I, I find now that I actually am liking camel and um, I'm liking it on me. I never liked it on me. And so I need to just steam that one or tumble it in the dryer so it's not so wrinkly. This sweater I actually really like, and I don't think I'm gonna wear it anymore this year. I will probably bring it out again in the fall. It's just, I have better options right now, and this one is starting to feel a little bit heavy, um, and I think I will reach for some of the other ones sooner, so I'm gonna tuck this one away. And then this one I wear often, it probably needs to be washed, and it definitely needs to be depilled. This is cashmere. I have no idea the brand. I bought it resale. I wear this one a lot. I actually wear it with this striped shirt under it um, and really like how that looks and feels. This one definitely gets to stay. Next is this one. Okay, I love this sweater. It's Ann Taylor Loft. I thrifted it last year. I will not wear it until spring because it's too chilly and I could wear it with a long sleeve t-shirt under it. It's just that I have other sweaters that I like that I would probably wear before I would put a long sleeve t-shirt under this one. And I like this one in the spring with just a camisole. So this one I'm just gonna put away until spring. This one I recently thrifted. It is a brand called Cali B. I have had a few women who I've um, either had consultations with or free coaching calls with recently who have asked about it. And I've been looking on Poshmark um, to try to help find it. It's a great sweater. It is acrylic. It is a little bit sheer, so I do wear a camisole under it. I really like it with a t-shirt under it better because it's itchy. It's acrylic, so it by rights shouldn't be itchy. There's no wool in it, but it is a little bit picky on my skin. So I'm going to keep wearing it. I like the shape. I like, you know, I like the vibe of it. Um, but it is not my very favorite sweater because I have to be mindful of where I'm wearing it and what I have under it. It's not itchy, but it's just enough to kind of feel a little picky against my skin. With a long sleeve t-shirt under it, it's great. This is also recently thrifted, a little short for me. However, my trousers are all a higher rise and a lot of my denim is a higher rise. So this one is cotton and um, I just, I like a great, you know, 
fisherman knit kind of classic cable sweater. So this one, I, it's, it's chunky enough that I might very well wear it now. Um, I just haven't, but I think there are days I would grab this one if I were going out before I would grab the one that's a little bit itchy um, or a little picky. So I am gonna put this one in my wardrobe because I'm gonna challenge myself to wear that and to really try it on with all the different rises of pants to make sure that it works with enough pairs of pants that it deserves a spot in my wardrobe. Because what I don't want is too many tops that are um, really contingent on kind of what I'm, you know, that the outfit is hinging on what I'm going to wear on the bottom. If the top is too short for most of my pants, it has to be really amazing in order for me to want to keep it to be able to wear with just one or two things. And then lastly, this one stays because we will still have some cold snowy days for sure. This is the Eric Bompard cashmere turtleneck. Even if I'm not loving turtlenecks, this one is cozy and yummy and I like the um, soft drapiness of the turtleneck. I would wear this one out on a date because it's just got a beautiful um, hand, like the, the softness of it is is incredible and I just love it. So, and I like the length of it. I, I like the density of it. So this one I would wear out. Um, this one, I love this sweater and I don't wear it. Uh, the neck is big. So when I put it on, I'm not sure whether to fold it under, whether to, I mean, I, I know what to do with it, but I get stuck. I don't love it just up. I don't love it folded over. I don't love it folded inside. Um, I really like it because it's super soft. I think the color is kind of cool, but I have not been wearing this one this year. So I am going to launder it and then I'll, I'll revisit it in the fall. Uh, but I'm thinking that the new Old Navy cashmere one that's kind of a purpley um, periwinkle color, I will wear more than this turtleneck. And then this one is the one that I said, the other V-neck sweater I probably wouldn't wear because I had a new one. This one was also a thrifted cashmere. I picked it out and then I got it for Christmas. Um, I really like this one. This one did have a little hole in it. Um, and so I just stitched it with a little piece of embroidery floss and now it doesn't have a hole in it. And so uh, I thrifted cashmere and this feels springy. The color is bright and happy. And so I will wear this one either with a camisole under it or even a t-shirt under it or just by itself as we get into the warmer weather. And let's see, let's just tuck this one back here. Obviously this has to all go back in the closet. And then I had a random pile of t-shirts. Oh, there's the light blue one. This is the J. Crew light blue one. This is just a navy J. Crew t-shirt that I thrifted that I wear at home and am comfy in. This is an example of, all right, let me get through these two. This one I do not wear anymore. It's really long, it's old, old navy. It's kind of that microfiber stretchy stuff. I don't love the way this one fits or feels. So that one I'm going to get rid of. This one is Uniqlo. It is Inez um, de la Fressange, like part of her collection. I wear this more in the spring. I don't wear this much in the summer. So I'm gonna put this one away till spring. And then this one is an example of something I love, don't wear very often and don't part with. It was a souvenir that I purchased at Swildens in Paris and I love it. And yet I don't wear it very often. Um, I, it has a tiny little bleach stain on the side. That's not the reason I don't wear it. I'm willing to wear it with that. I think it's a matter of saving it because I love it so much. I've worn it a lot. I've worn it with blazers to work at Anthro. I've worn it, you know, out. Um, I, it's like a treasure to me and I don't wear it often because I don't want it to be gone. Uh, but I think I want to put it on my body more often because I think it would be great with some of my sweaters and some of my blazers. And so I'm going to keep it in my closet and I'm, as the weather changes, I'm going to start to kind of bring this one in first as it gets to be spring because I really do like it and I'm just not wearing it very often. These two stay. And then the last thing I've got is some jeans. So let's see. Oh, here's another one of those Lux Old Navy. Like I keep this t-shirt, but it's not because I love it. It's just because it's functional. And if I were in a closet of a client right now, I would say, why are you keeping it? Like you have other great t-shirts that you could be wearing anytime you would wear this. So why are you keeping it? So I believe that this one is going to go also. So, all right, let's talk jeans. These 501s, brand new. I stretched them because the waist was a little bit tight. So my daughter taught me a fabulous trick where when they come out of the washer wet, we have some metal um, like Navy chairs 
if you know what a navy chair is it's like a one-piece metal chair that they used on boats you know their navy issue kind of thing ours were not from the navy we purchased them somewhere but um, they are the perfect size to stretch my denim over it doesn't have to be a chair it can be a tray it can be a plate it can be a you know anything that is big enough you know to kind of stick inside there it can be a hanger whatever is the right width to put some tension kind of like you would do with a shoe stretcher and so I did that and I let them dry over the chair and they fit great now. So I just need to wear them. I haven't worn them. So they are um, 501s. They are uh, a size that is actually more my size. And so these are going to get a lot of wear. I just haven't done it yet. These I really love, but I am not wearing these. Um, not for any reason other than the fact that I always grab the same couple pairs of Levi's. These are Pilcro from Anthro. I like the shape because they're a little bit of a barrel and they're a little dressier because they're dark. So I'm going to keep them and force myself to wear them. Uh, these I actually do wear a decent amount. They're just really soft, kind of a wider leg. Um, again, that kind of barrel shape from Anthro, soft gray. I don't wear gray denim very often, but these I actually do like and I like them with most of the things in my wardrobe. Like they'd be really pretty with this. So I'm going to keep them and just keep wearing them. These were my favorite Levi's for a very long time. And then I found some other favorite Levi's. These are a lighter weight and they're a little cropped. So I'm going to put these away till spring because I feel like I would wear them more in the spring. These are my citizens. So if you've known me for a while, you know that citizen Emerson's have always been my favorite jeans. I am wearing more Levi's. I'm just not wearing these the way I used to. So I'm going to put these in the spring bin and see if I grab them in the spring. They're a little lower rise. They're a great fit. They're a great pair of jeans. I still recommend them for clients. It's just right now I'm having a Levi's moment and so I'm not getting much wear out of those. I'm going to put them away till spring. These are the 501s that are really oversized. I had to add a second button so that they would um, be a little more snug. I still need to cinch them with a belt but I actually really love them. I wore them to a baby shower with a cute little pair of heel booties and um, a blazer recently and felt good in that. So I'm going to keep those and just keep wearing them. And then let's see, we've got a couple more pairs of Levi's in here. So I'm not even going to talk through these because I need to try them on and figure out what I'm going to do with those. I will do that and uh, make that decision off camera. And then these are the same as the gray ones. Uh, they are just obviously a minty kind of green. I really like these. I don't think I'll wear these again until spring. I love the color in the spring and they're great. With, you know, it's great with creams probably be pretty with the pink and white. Um, I just have not been wearing them through the winter. They just feel a little pale, this celery color. So I'm going to put those away. And I have other spring things, proper spring things packed away downstairs that I will go through once the season changes. I also still had some, well, this I thrifted recently. It's just a long sleeve life is good t-shirt. This I like great white t-shirt, easy to wear under things. So this one will stay. Um, and then my breakfast club t-shirt and a little short sleeve t-shirt. Sierra Nevada and I Love New York, that I think was Henry's. He handed it off to me. These are all short sleeves. So these are going to go in the spring bin and I will revisit those when hopefully spring comes early and I can start wearing those. But I don't want it to come too early because as you can see, I have a lot of stuff to wear. Um, regarding these items, I'm going to keep this out because there's a possibility that I will be going on a date next weekend. And this might be with that um, silk cami. This might actually be what I would wear because it is really soft and I love it. So I think I'm going to keep this out and see if I can wear it sometime over the next you know, week or so. These pants I'm going to try on. So I'm going to put those with the jeans to try on. There they are. And these two turtlenecks, I'm going to try these on too. So I'm going to do a little try on. Um, I won't bore you with that. I'm going to do a little try on of those pieces and then I will decide if they stay. And if they're going to stay, I will move them to the front of the pile, front of the closet, so that I can be sure to wear them. Um, I feel better about this because I did move it. I knew there were some things I wasn't wearing, but I wasn't really sure why. As you can tell, I am pretty happy in a cashmere sweater or an acrylic sweater that just is really soft and easy and solid and can be worn on its own with a couple of necklaces um, and maybe a scarf if it's chilly and I want to add some interest at my neck. Um, and maybe a t-shirt or a uh, camisole underneath it for a little bit of layering, but it, it's pretty basic and it's pretty classic and it's not very colorful, obviously. I mean, there, there are some blues in there and a little green and a little pink, but for the most part, you can see that I have defined my style and a lot of repeated shapes and repeated elements 
and I'm good with that. That is, that's my happy place. I want things that I can literally just pull two or three pieces, put them on, and they always are going to go together. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to get this back in my closet and just kind of arrange it so that I can see everything and get into some of these pieces that I haven't been wearing before the weather changes and it's time for spring clothes. If you would like my help with any of this, this is what I do one-on-one -on -one with clients. I do it online where you would set up your computer and we would talk through things just like we were in person. Uh, I have actually had clients say to me that they um, thought before our time online, oh, I wonder if Kristen likes coffee or tea, or I wonder if she has any food allergies, thinking that I would actually be coming to their home because we had worked together prior and it feels like we knew each other and like we were sitting together when really we were doing it all on Zoom. So I do online and in person. If you're in the Denver area, I do in-person um, style therapy. Either way is the same amount of effective. I have had clients who have even done both in person and online and have realized that online and in person is exactly the same experience. Um, and now Style Therapy includes four uh, one hour coaching sessions at the end. After we do the Style Therapy work, which is about three or four hours, after we do that work, there are four weekly one hour style coaching sessions where we meet back on Zoom and we troubleshoot whatever is coming up, whatever is happening that is still making you feel kind of stuck because invariably we do the work and we make the outfits and then you're kind of slipping back into the old habits and the old behaviors. And you can see that this is what I do. I have done this for over 20 years and I still was slipping back into some of the old behaviors in my own closet. It's normal human nature that we revert back to what's easiest and most comfortable. And so uh, the four week sessions, the four um, sessions that we do over the course of a, you know, about a month or five weeks after, um, really allow us to get into what are the thoughts that are coming up? What are the things you still believe about style or about getting dressed that are holding you back even though we have edited and we have assessed and we have come up with a shopping list and you've maybe purchased those pieces. We can also use that time to figure out what those new pieces can be worn with and how to create outfits with the pieces that you purchased to kind of fill in the gaps. So those four weeks are just to kind of reinforce what you learn in style therapy and for you to come with any questions and any concerns about what's still feeling um, troublesome or difficult with regards to getting dressed. Because my goal is to truly have you be able to do this for yourself after working with me, that you can become your own stylist and you can begin to see, wow, okay, why am I not wearing this piece? What would need to happen in order for it to come out of my closet? Do I wanna do that or am I ready to just let it go? And each time we do that, we inform the next thing we purchase. We become more intelligent shoppers because we have more data to really tell us, I know I don't actually wear turtlenecks, so I can stop buying them. Even though I love them on other women, I don't have to own any more turtlenecks because I'm not actually wearing them. I don't actually love them on me, just as an example, since we saw a few turtlenecks go. Um, okay, that's all I got for today. Hey, okay, here we go, finished product. Uh, everything is folded and put back together nice and neatly. I feel really good about the pieces that I kept and I am excited to wear them. And everything is refolded and feels pretty good. <sighs> Much better. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey to get my closet we'll be together. back next Friday with another video. Every Tuesday on Instagram, I do a live Q&A, a lifestyle Q&A on Tuesdays at noon mountain time. I'd love to have you pop over there and join me. If you have any questions you'd like addressed either here or on the Q&A, just drop them down below. And uh, I really appreciate your support and your being here. And I hope that it was helpful to really see you know, what happens in my own closet and that I too get stuck with kind of a mess and things feeling overwhelming and pieces I'm not wearing. And I'm looking forward to getting these put away and to work my way through and start wearing them. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for being here.